An economist once said of the Zhejiang merchants that they have developed from rascals into gentlemen. In days past, Zhejiang products of the period were regarded as low end. But since the beginning of the new century, Zhejiang merchants, like their products, have changed. The reigning brand image of Zhejiang's products and of the people who make them is quality. This week, we'll look at the business ethic of the Zhejiang merchants. May 12, 2008, 2:28 p.m. China Standard Time. An 8.0 magnitude earthquake hit Wenchuan in China's southwestern Sichuan province. The earthquake destroyed everything in Wenchuan. More than 69,000 people were killed, and thousands of buildings and houses were leveled. Traffic and communications shook to a halt. The tragedy did, however, unite the nation in the way that catastrophic disasters do. Relief, aid, and support for the survivors flooded in immediately. Reconstruction of the city and its economy got underway almost as soon as the dust settled upon Wenchuan's rubble and scenes of unimaginable loss. Since 1978, a number of Zhejiangnese have been running businesses or doing business in Sichuan. Now there are more than 300,000 Zhejiang merchants in Sichuan. Many realize their business dreams here, far away from the province of fish and rice, textiles and high-tech. After the earthquake, many Zhejiangnese appeared in Sichuan with donations of money, goods and time, giving and volunteering. For many Zhejiangnese, Sichuan was their second hometown, and many would say that their efforts here weren't mere generosity, but expressions of their duty. When disaster struck on that fateful day in May, Yuan Haizhong, vice president of Sichuan's Zhejiang Chamber of Commerce, was near his factory. Having ensured his employees were well, Yuan Haizhong drove next to the worst hit areas. Vice President of the Chamber of Commerce, Yuan immediately organized the Zhejiang merchants who do business in Sichuan and threw himself into rescue operations. At that time, no one knew his own family were in the quake-rocked region. Even during ordinary times, Zhejiang businessmen are always busy, most typically busy advancing their careers and their futures. In the face of disaster, that same energy and spirit is united and directed towards overcoming adversity together. In fact, many Zhejiang entrepreneurs and businessmen put a hand into Sichuan's relief work. President Hu Jintao visited two tent manufacturers in Zhejiang, urging them to produce as many tents as possible to meet the needs of the quake survivors. This call to arms encouraged more Zhejiangnese to contribute to the relief mission and to charitable works generally. Because 
地震后，我感觉它会把它变成系统系统化了。我应该如何做我的企业社会责任的？其实它变成从此向变成企业社会责任的，呃，这个趋势是太明确了，而且。我觉得，说不定因为这个地震出来了以后，中国的呃企业社会责任和慈善的速度呃的发展速度是会呃发了很发展的很快很快的，而且会超越欧洲和美国的，我很有信心的。Located at the foot of Wushan Hill in Hangzhou. Is an ancient and magnificent architectural complex, the Huqing Yutang Apothecary. With more than 130 years of history, the Huqing Yutang complex is covered with plaques. Among them is one bearing the words "Avoid Deception," written by Hu Xuyan himself. It now hangs on the wall of the drugstore. Avoid Deception. Seventy-year-old Feng Gansheng, president of Qingchuan Bao Pharmaceutical Company, has a deep understanding of these words. When he was fourteen years old in 1949, his grandmother sent him to Huqing Yutang. This, I was in high school when my grandmother was seventy-nine years old. She sent me to Huqing Yutang. I, my brothers and I, were the only four of us. I was raised with my grandmother when I was seventeen. 我大学十四岁的孙子离开祖母，祖母的心情肯定是很悲痛的。他第二天早晨送我到吴清云那去大学的，他不能进到吴清云那里面的。他一路上给我讲几句话，就你今后一定要，任何时候都要规规矩矩做人，认认真真做事。就是会的家家庭来，穷人孩子早当家。这个我祖母讲，我们家很穷，穷要穷得有志气。The young Feng Gansheng was proud to be an apprentice at Huqing Yutang. At that time, Huqing Yutang only employed one apprentice every year. Getting in was indeed an honor. Feng's first stage of apprenticeship was to sweep the floor, a task that occupied him for the first three years. He recalls that he was surprised to always find money on the floor. 这个进到钱呢，像现在的二十二二十块、五十块，也不是很多。当时我的币值不一样，我进来以后呢，也放在我一个抽屉里，我一个抽屉里。第二天见到十五年，我就交给他。昨天晚上我扫地的时候见到了多少钱？过了十天半个月又见到了，见到我就第二天交给他。大概一年一年多以后呢。Bearing in mind his grandmother's advice about moral rectitude, Feng faithfully turned in every fun he found among the sweepings. Twenty years later, before his master passed away, Feng was told the truth about the money he found. When the master passed away, Feng was told the truth about the money he found. When the master passed away, Feng was told the truth about the money he found. When the master passed away, Feng 你经常见到的，扫地时候经常见到钱。我说有的，几次我记不起了，反正我见到我都交给你了。他说的过去我不能告诉你，现在我该告诉你。他说的这个老板，当你进来那一天，通知他来考核我。这个钱他丢的，不动的地方丢，十天半个月丢了这里，再过十天半个月丢那边。他一共死了你十五次，你每次都交。十五次以后，老板说了，这个小鬼是承认的。At Huqing Yutang, be honest and avoid deception are the touchstones of their business ethic. As an apprentice of Huqing Yutang, Feng Gengsheng is ever mindful of this doctrine. Years later, Feng and his Qingchuan Bao Company put honesty at the fore. And when asked how Qingchuan Bao anti-aging tablets have maintained their popularity for decades, Feng says it is because of his principle of honesty. And today's Zhejiang businessmen 
generally do indeed have a high regard for integrity and square dealing. August 8, 1987 A lucky date for many businessmen because eight sounds like fa, which is a portent of prosperity. On August 8, 1987, at Willingmun in Hangzhou, angry citizens burned over 5,000 pairs of shoddy shoes made in Wenzhou. The fire, called the flame of shame, hurt the pride and struck at the reputation of Wenzhou manufacturers. Soon thereafter, Wenzhou made shoes found mounting rejection by domestic consumers. <laughs> Lutun from agony to introspection and thence to action, Wenzhou businessmen awakened slowly and started to heal from the shame. Zheng Xiaokang, the chairman of Kangnai, registered his leather shoes as Wenzhou shoes. His logo, well recognized in China, features a mature man looking up and smiling. This image is particularly meaningful. On November 15, 1999, in the same Hangzhou Square, Wenzhounese burnt over 2,000 pairs of counterfeit shoes. From the flame of shame in 1987 to the no less symbolic but purifying flame of 1999, the Wenzhou manufacturer's concerns about product quality received attention nationwide. Twenty years later, on August 8th of this year, Wenzhou Nis ignited yet another fire, this one without flames. A simple but nonetheless grand ceremony was held to demonstrate the people's determination to promote honesty. This fire was called the Credit Fire. Chebun 有公益心的或有社会形象价值的东西一说是浙江的义乌城